Pokemon, Magic, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey guys, what's up? Kill School Tools Tour from Call Me, and this is a video about is it okay to play other card games? It's pretty simple. It's totally okay. That's the end of the video. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, there's there's a lot of different card games out there other than just Yu-Gi-Oh. I just happened to pick up Yu-Gi-Oh, and I spent a lot of money on Yu-Gi-Oh. Mostly just because I don't really buy packs, uh, so I don't have all the trades to know do all that but we're talking about playing other card games today um, there's put there's tons of other card games out there there's magic there's Pokemon there's Vanguard there's uh, there's force of will there's Pokemon I think I said Pokemon uh, but there is plenty of other card games that, that, that you can play out there if you don't like Yu-Gi-Oh and the reason that I brought the I'm bringing this up in this week's Wednesday video is because me and a friend were playing Pokemon the other day uh, at our local card shop and someone walked in and they're just like you guys are gross now I know I'm pretty sure he wasn't serious like talking about us directly saying that we're gross but uh, it's just I don't want that thought I don't like that thought being out there that it's gross to play other card games well you know there's always going to be that one person that's just like I play this game and it's a it's the best game <laughs> well let me tell you Yu-Gi-Oh! has so many flaws that I'm just annoyed with. Do I still play the game? Yeah, I still play the game. But, there's still a lot of things about Yu-Gi-Oh! that I'm really annoyed about. <laughs> That's just my uh, my little opinion on that, on that front. But, an overall type of opinion is, or an overall concept or thought to think about, is playing other card games just ensues competition. And what do I mean by competition? Well, uh, it makes the card games, or the companies that make the card games, i.e. Wizards of the Coast, Bushiro, Konami, any other people that make card games, Blizzard, like the CCGs and stuff like that, that just makes them want to have to work harder to gain your money, or to get your money. I know that's a terrible way to put it that way, like, oh, we're a company, we just want your money. No, I know that's a bad way to put it, but... That's how. That's literally how they have to think about it. They're just like, what cool concepts and cool ideas can we do to get customers and players to play our card game and not their card game? Obviously, it's pretty apparent. I play Yu-Gi-Oh pretty. F I spend a lot of money and I play Yu-Gi-Oh pretty goddamn competitively. I the vlogs, the uh, the the, the entire channel with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, stuff just tons of things go into the thought of me of the reasons why i play Yu-Gi-Oh. i played it as a kid a uh, bunch of friends got into it it just stuck with me and now i play Yu-Gi-Oh. and i have a youtube channel that makes Yu -Gi oh's about or make Yu -Gi oh's make videos about Yu-Gi-Oh. now i want to branch out and play other card games because i've tried i tried pokemon or i tried magic magic really didn't stick with me i didn't really like it too much um um, and that I mean that was an early thought process of me getting into or trying to find a card game that I really enjoyed and liked so Now I'm like not not Wanting to stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! is still really fun I will still go to locals. I will still try to get my invite this year and all that fun stuff But I want to try other things as well like I want to do Yu-Gi-Oh! or I want to do I want to try Vanguard competitively which I have a few friends that play Vanguard competitively um, so, fuck it, I'm gonna join them. Um, and then some friends from the team were actually going to, uh, get into Pokemon. And I'll explain all the Pokemon stuff later at the end of the video. Moving on to the, to the topic of what, of at hand. What are some other reasons why you'd want to play another card game? Well, the biggest reason is, do you still enjoy your, your current card game that you play? Um, I do. I still enjoy Pokemon, or I still enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! quite a bit. I still love Yu-Gi-Oh! It's still so much fun, even though I have a ton of grapes about the game. Um, I still love it. I still enjoy it. It's still a card game that is always going to hold a place in my heart. Um, and if I do good or bad in the game, I'm still going to play it. There's a second reason. Can you still play it? Like, so do you still have the opportunity to play it? Because I know with the different card tournament, or different card games, different tournaments happen on different days. Like, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff happens over the weekend. Like, you got your ter your local tournaments, those usually happen Saturdays and Sundays, sometimes Fridays. Um, 
And then what I've seen is a lot of Pokemon stuff, like this is only an example, a lot of Pokemon stuff, I've noticed a lot of card shops do it during the week, which is hilarious, which is funny to me, because then you could do Pokemon during the week and do Yu-Gi-Oh during the weekend, which is really hilarious to me. So, another thing, does the game, are you allowed to still continue your, your, your responsibilities and everything you do and still want to play this hobby? So that's another thing that you want to keep, uh, take into consider consideration when picking a game up or switching games. Um, like me, I work Friday, uh, Thursdays and Fridays nights. Anything of these games happen on a Thursday or Friday night, uh, I cannot, I literally cannot do it. And then another thing I have to take into consideration is because I work Thursday and Friday night, I don't get home till 2 or 3 in the morning. So, and if a tournament or a big tournament happens the next morning at like say 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's a 30 minute to an hour drive, can I get up in time for it and still meet up with the guys at that place? I'd still want to get to the place early, still gotta, you know, fill out the paperwork, or fill up the sign-up sheet and everything, um, and then I still have to drive there. I still have to drive to the friend's house, which we usually meet up at a friend's house, which is like 30 minutes away from my house. So that's already 30 minutes I have to take into effect. And that usually takes me, literally no matter what, if I dress normally or I just wake up in a rush. I still need about an hour to wake up, you know, take a shower, shit, shave if I have to, grab something, to, just grab a bite to eat if I'm really that hungry in the morning. So I take all this stuff into consideration, driving in there, waiting on people to get there, and then we still have to drive there. So that's another thing I have to take into consideration when doing a, when I do, at least when I do a car game. And then also, another thing, money. Money is a huge thing that is a big thing that makes these games completely possible is money do you have the money to play the game well a lot of different card games cost a lot of different dollars like dollar signs that's the big big thing that makes like i said that makes these games work it makes it so the companies can keep producing if people are actually playing their game and putting money towards their products and uh do i have the money to buy these products um, and there's also singles if you want to just do the singles and stuff like that. Do I have the singles or the singles, do I have the money to buy the singles and make my deck good and make this game worth playing? Now tons of different games offer a variety of prizes. Some games offer money, some games offer prize cards. You get off as prize cards, Pokemon and Magic they offer money. I'm not sure what Bushiro does, I don't know if Vanguard uh, and Force of Will, I don't know if they offer money or if they offer uh, price cards or, or a combination of the two I'm not sure I know for sure that magic and Pokemon they are money games and I don't mean like well, I mean like obviously but either way, they're they are money games which means that you get cash and other money prizes or uh, other money products or money items as prizes which means that like will give you like say thousand dollars five thousand dollars who knows with Yu-Gi-Oh on the other hand they don't offer money and there's very different reasons for, well, at least Konami's reasons, why they do these things. Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't offer money because they say it's more, it's make it more child-friendly. What is the deciding factor in reality of what card games you play and what card games you say? And I'm not going to waste my time on it. Time, money, and dedication. Because with anything that you want to play seriously, it's going to take dedication. And money is time and dedicate time money and dedication uh, is definitely something that you need to take into effect so pick a card game and that's it that's really it make sure you have the, uh, the time for it make sure you have the money so you're not breaking the bank and then make sure you have the dedication if you're gonna spend money on the game but that's it for this and the announcement at the end of the video like I promised is I'm going to be playing Pokemon uh, VGC competitively and possibly TCG. I haven't quite decided if I want to do both or just one. I mean, with both, I probably could do, like, I honestly could do more. The only difference is with the TCG, it's time and dedication. Time, money, and dedication. With, uh, with a VGC, which is the video game competition, um, it's just time and dedication. Like, I have to put in the work to get this which in reality can mean uh like it can do different things like that can totally mean different things but either way the first competition for the 2018 season is actually de de december 14th 
Uh, Sign-ups are December 7th. I will be signing up. I'll be participating. It is the Johto Cross Aloha, Alola uh, competition, which means any Pokemon from the Pokedex, or from the Johto Pokedex and any Pokemon from the Alola Pokedex are able to uh, participate, which uh, I will be in it. It's pretty awesome. I'm excited to actually play. Um, it'll be my first like official competition for the Pokemon VGC series, and I'm hoping to uh, actually do it and all that fun stuff. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So if you see the name Raven with a heart, that is totally me. You're facing me, and I'm pretty excited. So yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, um, if you're picking a card game, make sure you have time, money, and dedication, um, and all that fun stuff. And it's okay to play multiple card games. If someone says that's gross, don't take it serious. They're probably joking, or they they just don't like playing the card game. And stay tuned, or stay tuned for. Cause don't worry, guys. Because I'm doing Pokemon, I will be making Pokemon videos as well on this channel. So stay tuned for those and all that fun stuff. So you guys for watching and listening to this week's Wednesday video. If you like what you're listening, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my other videos and to the channel. Um, don't forget to have bell icon if you want to join the notification squad because I upload every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I know last week I didn't upload anything. That's because of work. I was tired. My hours were different than normal, so I didn't have time to record and edit. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys, and have a wonderful, beautiful night, day thing, or whatever. I'm sorry, Dickie Old School Duels, to have ever call me. I think I messed up my intro. Mm -hmm. Pokemon, Magic, and Yu-Gi-Oh. The big three game, big three card games. Like, it's totally okay to play other card games. <laughs>